have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, this is Ripper here. You guys are doing fantastic. They got a fun video with the Kabarovs, and uh, I was actually marking for a team called In Guns, and uh, thank you for letting me play. But this was just a fun uh, demonstration of what the Kabarovs can do, especially when you're running with another destroyer. And I actually enjoy this strategy a lot these days, and I encourage you guys to take a look at it. Um, having two destroyers push into a cap and to bully that destroyer, and then of course you have the other opposing flank just hold and defend, while you have a cruiser and a battleship supporting the two destroyers to literally bully any destroyer that comes into the cap. And of course you also uh, have a uh, kind of the Vermont or bigger battleship anchor in the center can probably focus fire on any kind of dist uh, dist um, sorry cruiser or enemy that uh, decides to uh, push the Alpha or Bravo cap. So right off the bat, well, let's see what kind of engagement we have right here. I love destroyer engagements. I think they're super fun and really awesome. And Kabaros, if you, it's a zombie destroyer. If you want to go up against it, make sure you know what you're doing. Right off the bat, Gdansk. Gdansk is very, I would say, powerful, but yet squishy at the same time. It's a large boat to hit, and or ship to hit, and it's very, very easy to just nail these shots. And again, if you're going up a Kabarovs, look how much damage we're going to melt off of this guy. And you got to really understand that the Kabarovs, literally, look, 2,200 damage. And it is an easy ship to hit. Look at 2,500 damage. I mean, you're literally taking off 2,000 damage per salvo. And it's incredible what the Kabarovs can do. And then, of course, the Gdansk maneuverability is very sluggish and slow. It's got the 9 kilometer radar. Splash one. He goes down. He's got smoke as well, but he left the smoke. So that's another downside. So I don't know why he left the smoke. Uh, I guess he felt unsafe. But here's the power of the Kabarovs. This is the j throttle juking maneuver where literally you're going to draw fire. You're going to notice I'm going to draw so much damage right here. And just in a clan battle map, a 7 versus 7 map, you're taking about seven, to 800,000, maybe a million da potential damage is unheard of in a destroyer. But that is the power of what the Kabarovs can do. It literally is there to soak up damage and take the shots for your team. If, remember, if they're shooting at you, they're not shooting at your team, and that's the best thing you can do right there. So their secondaries are focused on us. Unfortunately, they're unable to reach us now that they're out of range, so we're going to keep using this droddle thro droddle throttle <laughs> juke throttle maneuver and go back and forth, back and forth. And we're gonna see, you're going to see how many fires we start in this thing. Kabarovs is also known to be the match starter. It literally just burns the crap out of ships. And I, I did a video about a while back, uh, a couple videos ago about how to start fires and i think trend has has a very good video des description about it oh here we go i'm always zooming back and forth to figure out where are the enemy players because hey you could have a kassar destroyer pop up all of a sudden and look at all that damage we're doing on a french destroyer right there french saturation i don't care 2700 damage we're just gonna melt the crap out of you and boom there goes another fire again and again he is truly trying to escape but these guns are so the trajectories are so low they come out of a barrel at 900 meters plus per second and they are awesome and they are just easy to aim i find they very cabros the guns are powerful because they're so easy to aim they have a flat trajectory fire they come out of the guns really fast and they start a lot of fire something i really really do enjoy about and i'm leading this guy a lot Notice that his speed is full throttle and picking up. He's a French destroyer, so you know what? I'm going to lead about the 15 to 14 to 18 range, and there he goes. He goes down and wait a shot there on the Moskva. And now here's the bread and butter of the Kabarovs. We're going to take shots from the enemy. We're going to fire at their superstructure and start as many fires as possible. Now, at the battleship level, you want to get the superstructure to get at least two fires. If well, there's only one big fire, and I try not to explain this very well, one big fire right here means that there is fire prevention, which means that there's only a total of three fires maximum that you can put on the ship. Cruisers don't have that ability. They took fire prevention away a long, long time ago. So guess what? We're going to try to start as many fires as we can. We're going to aim at the two sections of the middle there, and GK goes down. We're going to aim at the two sections of the, the uh, Puerto Rico over here, and then we're going to aim for the back, and then aim for the front. You want to fire here, two fires there, and a fire in the bow, giving a total of four fires, which is literally passive income damage. And that is a lot, a lot of fires, and that's what you want to start right there. Here goes another fire. We're up to nine fires right now, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got the help of the Moskva, and we have the help of Daring, and we're going to go in and start as many, many fires as we can, and it is incredible at what you can do to this, um, especially a burning a cruiser right there. you got one, two, three, and maybe we can get one more right there. We can get a fourth fire going. And it literally is nothing they can do about it. I mean, I don't care how much armor you have. Fires just burn down ships. And it's just devastating right there. And let's see if we can get one more fire. And oh, he damaged Khan. But unfortunately, it's a little too late for that now. He's down to 3K health. 
and just way, way too much damage to uh, to absorb in, and he goes down from the Puerto Rico. And just look how much we tanked right there. 655,000 damage in the first uh, about six minutes of the game right there, and that is a power of what Cab Cabros can do, throttle juking, and just getting the enemy to fire at you. We're going to speed up right here and get to the action. Uh, we've already overtaken. Look, four ships at Alpha overtaken, and here we go. We're going to spot the UAE, or help spot the UAE. Yu Yang's getting radar by Moscow, but look, we're going to get some nice juicy shots off of this. Look at that broadside right there. Beautiful sight to see. And just look at the accuracy of the guns. Another fire started, and we're going to just keep leading him and let him walk into our shells. The trajectory on these guns are super, super incredible. We overwhelmed that cap right now. Now we're going to shoot the Stalingrad. Stalingrad, also another cruiser that burn, burns very, very well. We're up to 10 fires right now. And he takes a citadel though right there, and there's one fire in the back section of his, or aft of his uh, superstructure. We're going to get another fire going right there, but he damage cons unfortunately that's a little too late he takes a shot at us now we're up to 737,000 potential we love taking shots he could have fired at anybody else but he chose to fire at us because why we are the most annoying player on the team and that's what you want to do for your teammates and we start another fire that is 12 fires ladies and gentlemen and he is burning like a match and look at that right in the center right there and see if we can get that fire kill and boom splash two 154,000 damage and here's another beautiful shot right here Montana coming at you literally showing and exposing full broadside superstructure. I love aiming at this angle right here because now I can just fire the shells right in the center. I know I'm going to hit superstructure damage right there and we're just getting, look at this, 1,600 to 2,000 damage per salvo. Look, that is just devastating. Literally getting about 2,000 HP off the guy every couple seconds. That is devastating for any player right there and look at that. We are up to 820,000 potential and 164 and we are literally going to start so many fires. Look, 12 fires started and we're just and this is just too easy at this time the aiming on the cab is so easy for battleship superstructure and just obliterates the entire team no losses right there and we absorb majority of the bulk of the damage and look at we pushed right into the respawn that's the power of what that cab can do well bill will be at the end of the video hope you guys enjoy the video as always hope you're doing well let me know in the comments below what you think of the video as always subscribe and that uh subscribe to the video at fourth as a subs do another premium giveaway and as always if you see me out there say hi and we'll talk to you soon cheers